Welcome. Lucas Milhop brings you 70 years of expertise in the brazing industry. Today we're going to demonstrate joining brass to copper with our lowest melting temperature cadmium free silver brazing alloy, Braze 560. This alloy is a near eutectic with a melt range from 1145 to 1205 degrees Fahrenheit. The material freely wets and flows on the surface of both brass and copper based materials. Please note that the brazing sequence used for this alloy can be used for most of our other silver brazing alloys. Step 1 is to remove any temperature sensitive parts, then clean the tubing and fitting. Parts should be properly cut and reamed to remove burrs. Cleaning should be performed so that the surface contaminants are removed without unwarranted loss of the base metals. Lightly roughen the tube ends and the fitting with wire brushes, steel wool, or fine grades of abrasive papers. Any residual particles in the joint surfaces should be avoided and any residue remaining after mechanical cleaning must be removed. The next step is to apply flux to the assembly. When applying the flux, a uniform brushed on coating is all you will need. Overfluxing or underfluxing of joints may lead to problems in the process, such as increased porosity in the braze joint or difficulty removing flux residue. Step 3 is to assemble the joint and begin heating. Apply heat with a reducing flame to minimize oxidation of the part. Heat the part evenly and uniformly. The flux will indicate when to apply filler material to the braze joint. Step 4 is to apply the filler metal when the flux is completely molten and clear. Note the fluidity of the alloy as it flows freely and capillaries through the joint. Here you see the finished braze joint and fillet. Step 5 is to quench the part. This will shock off the majority of the flux residue. Wait until the filler metal has cooled below its solidification point before quenching. Make sure all color has left the assembly prior to quenching. This will ensure that the filler metal stays in the joint. Flux residue can also be removed in a bath of hot water as fluxes are salts and will dissolve well into an aqueous solution at higher temperatures. The flux residue must be removed as the flux is corrosive. After brazing, inspect the joint for any voids or lack of fill. To summarize, these are the steps for joining brass to copper with Lucas Milhaupt's Braze 560. Clean the tubing and fitting. Apply the flux. Assemble the joint and begin heating. Apply the filler metal, then quench the part and remove residue.